Hey horror fans, thanks for joining me for this review of 47 Meters Down Uncaged. Yep, I'm here underwater with the uh, four ladies behind me. And uh, I'm going to talk about this movie now. And of course, cast and crew and some other information is down below. Um, but I'm going to start with the, the plot here um, from IMDb. And it's 14 girls diving in a ruined underwater city quickly learn they've entered the territory of the deadliest shark species in the claustrophobic labyrinth of submerged caves. So yeah, basically you have, um, I guess we'll start really quickly in the beginning. You have a family who I guess is kind of new to this area. Um, but they're in school, and you see a scene where a girl's kind of getting bullied a little bit, but you have two sisters, one that's the cooler sister, the other one's getting bullied, and they're in town because their father is working in these caves underwater, and, um, I guess he's mapping them out, and... One day they're sitting down and the father's like, oh, well, I got a surprise for you guys. Um, you g girls are going to go out on a boat with a glass bottom and look at sharks. Uh, I love shark movies and I'm scared as hell of sharks. So I'm not going on a glass bottom boat to uh, look at sharks. Um, apparently they decide they're not going to do that either. Good decision. Bad decision. They decide to go with some of the other girls who think they're all cool and go to, I guess, the other side of the entrance to where the father's working. And it looks almost like a lake against uh, uh, some rocks, a mountain, or so forth. And they decide to go swimming there uh, instead. Uh, I'm not going swimming anywhere. <laughs> not going swimming over there anywhere. You know, they have sharks on one side, you know. Could be sharks there too. But uh, the cool sister, I guess, convinces the, the one that got bullied to go along. So you have the four ladies, 14 girls, uh, decide to put on some gear that has conveniently been left behind or left there. Um, as part of the, the father's team that, that go, is going in the water searching the caves and they decide hey let's put this on and let's go for it again I'm not doing it not having it but uh, they get inside and it's pretty cool and you know they start looking around and everything's all good and you know I'm, imagine if you were a person who does this I'm sure it'd be amazing and so forth but uh, of course things are going to go wrong. So basically in this movie you have have two things two two things going on here. And uh, one is is the cave and the other is obviously the sharks. And to me I felt that maybe they battled the cave a little bit more than the sharks in this movie. Uh, it's a little disappointing. Uh, obviously you know they make use of of the setting and and so forth and putting them in tight situations and so forth and you know kind of navigating their way once chaos starts happening um but I, I thought maybe the focus was a little too much on that and not enough on the sharks um as for the sharks the sharks are, are different in this movie they they pretty sizable um I don't know it really if they're great whites or what their relationship is there because these sharks look a little different they're blind um they do have good size to them and uh the girls kind of figure out that they're blind so they kind of you know try to work that to their advantage um hiding from the shark and and playing off noise and knowing noise in the in the underwater there um kind of track them get them to go in different directions so that kind of helps, you know, that, that gives them something going there. Um, 
I mean, there's, uh, you know, kind of like with the other, with 47 meters down, you know, there's nothing totally amazing with the death. You know, you, you, you know, I'm, there's, there's only so much you can do with sharks, but, you know, I, you know, kind of want to see them go at it, some blood and whatever. There's a little bit of it in the movie. Um, but being in the tight quarters there, then you know, it's not a whole lot there. And I guess, you know, at first they kind of use the darkness and, and, and you don't know when the first shark is going to appear and they kind of use that to their advantage. But once you kind of know that the sharks are there and the girls kind of know that they're there, it's not as scary as you would think. Um, you know, of course, for the audience, of course, for the girls, that's a different story. And, um, but it's not as scary. And kind of another complaint that I had with the first one is it didn't seem like there was enough kills in the movie. Um, you know, I'd be interested in matching the death count um, at the end of the day. You know, like the first one had two girls. This one has four. Um, go ahead and just throw it out there now if you're still watching. You know, there, since it's a late spoiler alert. I'm In a minute, I'm going to talk about the end of the movie because I just can't not, not talk about it. Um, so that is a spoiler. I don't think I've spoiled anything to this point. Um, but... You know, so it's a little bit of a bummer that then there isn't a little more focus on the sharks and, and less on the caves and so forth. But, you know, there's some decent scenes where, say, you know, they're trying to make their way through some of the rubble that, that's been caused and maybe it's a tighter situation and all of a sudden you see a girl turn around and the shark is there and it's kind of banging against the tunnel um, trying to get at the girl, you know, that I mean, as scary as it's gonna get, I guess, for the situation, whatever. But uh, you know, that's not terrible. Um, but again, not a ton of blood and guts in the movie. Some wish there was a little more. Probably one another one of the better scenes in the movie is is when, of course, again, you know, I don't know if I'm spoiling this, but they run into the father under there because, you know, that's what he was supposed to be doing in the first place and why he couldn't go on the boat with them that like they were supposed to. But, uh, they end up making their way kind of out, but out into the area where I guess the father came in. But it's not so simple because apparently they've uh, entered through a rope, um, a special um, device to, to help you climb up. Um, it's not just, you know, you're out into the ocean or something like that. So, one girl kind of panics, grabs the rope, and is, is trying to climb it, and then another girl kind of jumps on once they notice that the sharks are below them, and, you know, a bunch of chaos happens as they freak out, and, and they're trying to get the girl to climb faster. And um, Let's say, you know, I guess that's one of the, better scenes as far as, you know, the, the sharks getting a good grasp on them. Um, but otherwise than that, yeah, to me it's a little bit too much about the caves and, you know, as they get further along, there's, there's you know, more dramaticness with the, with the cave and I don't know. Uh, it's a shark movie, shark base, you know, the first one was so much about the sharks and how the girls, every time they went out of the cage, you, you know, where was the shark and where was it going to come from and uh, you know stay along the bottom but again you know you, you, you put them in a different setting this time there's only so much you can do in a shark movie where you're that far down or um, trying to get people out where they can feel safe or have some safety but know that the shark can still get them so I, you know I guess there's only so much you can do so they, they tried, they tried, so I give them a little bit of credit for trying to give this environment and so forth. Um, but I, I wanted a little bit more shark action. And then, so speaking of shark action, let's go, go to the end of the movie here. And probably the biggest reason why I'm doing this review is because I have to talk about the end. And it, to me, if you saw the first one, you saw that it kind of got dramatic at the end. I'm not going to kind of spoiling this movie not going to totally spoil that movie if you haven't seen that one but uh that one kind of got dramatic at the end and there's you know a slight little twist there maybe you caught it maybe you didn't um 
But I kind of liked that. I liked that they went that route and gave you something, tried to give you something a little different at the end. So this one, they tried to do a similar thing, tried to give you something at the end. Uh, to me, it feels a little forced. It was way over dramatic. Um, speaking of dramatic, one of the things that was very annoying is that one of the girls in the entire time is, you know, you can hear them communicating pretty well underwater. It's almost like they're regularly talking. Um, but she's just screaming the entire time. And of course, you know, I get that they're scared, but she's just carrying on and it got very annoying um, by the time uh, you got later in the, in the movie. But uh, anyways, the end was just very dramatic. Two girls come out, they finally make it out, but they're out into the ocean. And you know, they turn, they look, there's nowhere to go on one side, but just rocks. They turn and look on the other side, they actually see a boat. So as they start swimming towards the boat, they, they notice something else is going on here. There's something else in the water. They look, they're looking around, and the water's red, and it's chum. Because the, all of the irony in it is that the boat that they should have been on in the first place is actually out there in the water, chumming the water for sharks to come to the boat. So people can are down below looking at the sharks. So, yeah, n not a good thing. So now we have great white sharks circling this boat, and the only way for the girls to go is to this boat. There is nowhere else they're going to go. And uh, they have to swim through the chum to get there. So, you know, here's this, you know, if you've been really, really waiting for the shark moment in this movie, I mean, this is this is the moment. Um, here we go. Uh, unfortunately, they, they just make it so dramatic. It's just... You know, the two girls are swimming, you know, a shark tries to bite one, tries to bite the other one. Then, you know, one makes it, the other girl gets bit, so the girl made it, but then she decides, no, I want to be the hero. She jumps back in, she gets the shark to let go of the girl, the girls make it back to the boat, all kinds of dramaticness. To me, they should have just had them both be eaten there. I don't even know how they even survived, just the, the bites that they ended up getting as it is uh, so it's kind of ridiculous there they throw in the fact that, that, that the girl that bullied the one at the beginning of the movie was on that boat and, and you see her there and to me I'm kind of rooting for her to like okay this is the moment get back at her throw her in the water um, you know I guess you know that's technically murder or whatever but it's a movie you're already dramatic uh, as you can be just do it you know well, why not um, you know, in the movie, and who cares about the the after you know effects of it? Just throw her ass in the water too. But uh, you know, they keep looking at her and showing her, and you're kind of thinking, you're like, do it, do it. Uh, they don't, they don't do it either. So yeah, it it just you know the movie kind of went along at a certain pace, and then all of a sudden they slam you with this dramaticness. And I know it's the final act of the movie, but. It just throws it way off, you know. I, I didn't really mind the whole them coming up on that side and the whole irony of the boat being there, but the fact that they both kind of get attacked and then the one grows out and then jump back in—I mean, that doesn't even make any sense. Why would you do that? I know, okay, you know, she's your sister, she's your friend, whatever, you know, whatever. But I mean, you've made it. You're out of the boat. You just dive back in in the water for um, just, just. Too much dramatics for me there in the end, and, and it kind of put me off on a sour note there. Um, you know, while I thought the movie was, was okay or whatever, I mean, that, that was kind of a downer. Um, you know, I kind of got excited to see the other sharks in the water, and okay, here we go. You know, kind of like in the other movie, here you go, the shark's going to get in, and it's going to be exciting. And, you know, that one ended up kind of exciting, this one, uh, epic fail at the end, as, as far as I'm concerned. So with that, you know, I, I enjoy shark movies, you know, I enjoyed the first one, um, you know, it's kind of hoping, you know, some of these shark movies that have a little bit more to it, a little bit more shark eating people, but um, I guess they can only do so much. So with that, I'm going to give this one two, pool, two pools of blood, um, wish there was more blood in the movie and uh, more sharks going on, but um it is what it is, and I might have given it another half of, of a pool of blood, maybe 2.5, if, if not for all that crazy 
unnecessary dramatics at the end. Um, so yeah, that is 47 meters down uncaged, two pools of blood. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more video reviews. Of course, you can find more reviews, including the video reviews, at horosquarereviews.blogspot.com. I'll have that and all the social media down below. And I thank you for your time, horror fans, and I'll catch you in the next review.